Hey you guys, it's Kristen with another Chance Resale and it is Purse Sale Friday. So, welcome. I am Kristen, another Chance Resale. I am a full-time reseller and this is Purse Sale Friday. So, I have purses, I have shoes, and I have an America's Thrift Supply purse, brand name purse box to open. <laughs> I never know what the hell they're called. Anyway, so let's get right into it. First up, we're gonna show the ordering instructions and then we're gonna continue with the clearance section. So if you would like to place an order, please make sure you are paying attention to how to order, which it'll be shown right now. Okay, so that'll be shown throughout the video in case you missed it this time and all the other times. So we're gonna start with the clearance section. Those are the purses from last week that didn't sell. So we're gonna drop the price and hope to sell them today. Now, I will let you know which ones they are, but there are three that will not be lowered because the, the two people that wanted them last week canceled. So they are going to stay the price that they were offered last week. So, one of those is the Byron, B-E-I-R-N. This is the genuine snakeskin leather tote. It is large, it is a shoulder bag. It has the double long, like longer handles. It is the same on both sides. It is in excellent condition, even on the corners. This is a vintage bag. The inside has a snap closure and it has like a bluish gray um, canvas interior. There is your branding with your zipper pocket and your interior. Very clean inside and out. So because this person canceled, um, it is going to remain $50. Five zero, number one, okay? Okay, then you have number two, which is the Carlos Fauci. This is also vintage snakeskin. Um, this one, that one, number one was more of like a beige, like a tan beige. This is more of like an off-white and black. And I did fix the pull on here. This one is smaller. It has a really, really long double um, shoulder and it is the same on both sides. It is also in excellent condition. It just has that mark there at the bottom and one little one on the top there, but the corners are great. All right, it's same on both sides. Handles are great. You have the zipper, it's like a zip around. And it is Carlos Fauci, branding and zipper pocket and no other pockets. So this one, was also canceled no the person canceled on me um they and they have they've also been blocked let's just put it that way they tried to scam me and it, it's not gonna work so um i am very quick to block people if you mess with me and my business you will be blocked so number two carlos fauci it will stay at 45 dollars okay Next up, we have number three, which is the B. Mikowski in the beautiful silver leather. It is a strict shoulder bag. It is a smaller size. It has the pretty ruching in the front here, pocket on each side. You have a nice big hang tag with a silver tone. Slip pocket on the back. This is in excellent, excellent condition. Handle is beautiful, not adjustable, not removable. The um, zipper to the inside, one compartment. And you have your, it's gonna be kinda hard, branding, zipper pocket and slips, and nothing on the other side. Clean inside and out, silver leather, B. Mikowski shoulder bag, number three, and we're dropping this one down to $35. Four is the Free People. I love this one. It is very boho, very festival. Um, you can wear this a lot of different ways. You can crossbody it. You can wear it as a chest bag or wear it to the back as a sling bag. 
You can unknot the knots to adjust the length. You can even probably wear it as a belt bag. Um, it has this beautiful like macrame um, with the, be the wood beads. The actual purse itself is a leather and suede snake print in like a white beige black with a little bit of orange. The back is suede. It is in excellent condition. It is such a beautiful bag. You have a zip pocket on the back and the main compartment is zipped on the front. And in here you have your branding and your slip pocket. So beautiful bag, you can wear it, like I said, as a crossbody, as a chest bag, you can adjust, just unknot this and knot it at a longer or shorter length. Um, so this is number four, free people. And we're gonna drop this one down to 40. Actually, it goes really well with my outfit today. <laughs> All right, then we have number five, which is the Lucky Brand shoulder bag. This is a beautiful brown with a dark edging to it. So it is a strict shoulder bag. It cannot be adjusted or removed. Um, you have this big pocket that wraps around the side. And as you can see, the edges are a little bit darker. It is like that on purpose. There's your branding on one side. This side has a little dark spot right there. But other than that, the bottom and corners are beautiful. The inside, oh, there is a side zip pocket right here. And then on the inside, it's a zip closure to one compartment. And you have branding with your zipper pocket and slips. So beautiful condition. It just has a little dark spot. Where was it? Right there toward the bottom. Um, so for number five, this is the Lucky Brand leather shoulder bag, $40, four zero. Then we had the really cute and fun jute tote. Um, I just thought this was really cute for the fall if you're going to a festival or apple picking or something. Um, it's like this like golden tan with a brown. It's by Avanti and this is wood. It's so cute. This is leather and then it has these really fun like string rope straps. It is a shoulder bag. It has maybe some lightning here and there to the jute, but overall really good condition. No outside pockets. Um, and then the inside, oops, I always do this sometimes. I put the number on both and then I can't open the strap. So it does have a zipper closure to one compartment. And then you have your branding with the zipper pocket and slips. All right, very nice, very unique Avanti tote shoulder bag number six and we're going to drop this one down to eighteen dollars just eighteen bucks then we had the made well this one it was the tote oh, i did it again to this one when will i learn all right so this is the kind of like denim canvas and leather tote by made well it is a shoulder bag. If you would like it to be, you can put it over the shoulder. It is a larger size and it has like this cool, like blue, dark blue denim and white, like kind of aztec -y pattern on both sides. The patina, there is some patina to the brown leather. As you can see, there are some dark spots, some light spots, but overall it's in really good condition. Just some patina that will happen to leather. Um, and the handles are in really great shape, all leather. There is no closure to this bag, but there is one large compartment. And right here you have your Made Well branding with your zipper pocket and your slips. And I think there was a mark or two in here. Over there. 
All right, so for the Madewell leather and canvas tote, it is number seven and we're dropping it down to $35. That's a really good price for Madewell. All right, then we had the new without tags, very Verto leather um, convertible bag. So this can be a crossbody or a backpack. So this is in the kind of like off-white ivory color. It is a leather. Right now I have it set up as a cross, whoops, as a crossbody. The only thing is it will not adjust. The straps do not adjust. So you would just, for to make it a backpack, you just undo these two and then hook them down there. All right, and then on the front you have a zipper pocket. You have a, a little slip on each side. There is a closure here. You just put the holes over these little knobs. I didn't do that just for times, time purpose. And then you just open it up like so. It's a nice thick leather. And it's, it's basically new without tag. I don't see anything wrong with it. And then on the inside, it's one compartment. I think, did this one have the paperwork or was it the blue? Okay, it does have the little card. So you have a, I'm gonna show you this. There's a branding zipper pocket and slip pocket. All right, so new without tag. It's kind of like an ivory, ivory cream backpack or crossbody. Number eight, very verto. And we're gonna do this one, drop it down to 30 bucks. That's a really good deal. This is genuine leather, you guys. Genuine leather. All right, next up we have the Margo. This is basically gonna be a bag that is gonna be as slouchy as however you fill it. Right now I filled it um, basically max capacity. It has like a little fold over or you can have it stand up straight if you want, okay? Um, it is a beautiful brown pebbled leather. It is a shoulder bag. It can be adjusted a little bit. Um, it does have a little bit of variation in the leather, a little bit of darkening, lightening, you know, this type of leather will do that, but it is in good condition otherwise. Um, same on both sides, sides, no exterior pockets, zip closure to a, uh, to one compartment. All right, and then your interior is clean. You have your branding with a zipper pocket and your slips. So for the Margo, see how it has like a fold over? Um, Margo brown leather shoulder bag, number nine, dropping it down to 40, four zero. Nice, thick leather, beautiful. Then we had the Michael Kors. This one is the leather crossbody bag, um, black leather, gold tone. The strap is a canvas. It can be adjusted to shoulder, so crossbody to shoulder, gold tone hardware. Um, it is in really good condition. There's only like a few little scratches on the plate there. You have a front pocket, nothing on the back, but the corners are really nice. The inside has a snap closure, and then you have a slip pocket here with Michael by Michael Kors and another slip pocket over here. A phone will fit plus a wallet, small wallet and keys and it is number 10 and we're dropping the Michael Kors crossbody or shoulder down to 30, three zero. Next up we had the Perlina backpack. This is a nice thick black leather backpack by Perlina. Um, it is more like, um, it's not really a regular size, but it's also not like a mini. So it's kind of in between. It's in really nice condition. You have two zipper pockets here on the front. 
That pocket goes into the main compartment of the bag. There's your Perlina on the side there. Really nice condition, bottom and corners. It does have fully adjustable straps on the back. The interior, you lift the flap, then it has a magnet closure, and then you have a drawstring. So inside is one compartment. <laughs> With a zipper pocket and your branding. All right, beautiful, thick, black leather backpack by Perlina. Number 11, dropping it down to $35. All right, this is the other one that somebody canceled on me. So I am keeping it the original price that it was last week. This is the, I would say this is more of a purple, like an actual purpley plum color. Um, Kate Spade, it is a larger size. It has the top handle and it has a crossbody or shoulder strap. Yeah, it could be shoulder. Crossbody or shoulder, it is removable and adjustable. Gold tone hardware. The hardware on the front does have a little bit of scratching. This is a suede. The back has a large pocket. There is very, very light wear to the corners. Very light wear. Just a little itty bitty bit. Okay, there's the bottom. So when you open up the front here, you push up on the button and there's your suede, and that is another pocket right here. Okay, big pocket in the front, magnet closure, and then you have the main compartment of the bag. There is a little bit of wear to the suede, like a little bit, it's like kind of um, like pressed down, like got a little bit of like markings, but it's not terrible. And then the inside you have your zipper pocket with your branding and your slips. So the clean inside, little teeny bit of wear to the suede and the corners, couple little scratches to the front plate. Nothing major, it is still beautiful. Remember we are keeping this the same price as last week because somebody canceled on me. This is number 12, so we're keeping it at 50, five zero, okay? Actually matches my lipstick. <laughs> okay, then we had, let me get these down because they're like directly behind me. Okay, then we had the Lucky Brand crossbody in a taupe, in like a light taupe. It is leather, it is kind of like a saddle bag. It is smaller. It is a crossbody, you can adjust it, but will stay crossbody, silver tone hardware. I love how the strap is right there. It's really unique. So it's in really good condition, really nice. You have your branding on the back with a slip pocket. The front has a really cool horseshoe little design. Then you open it up, you have the main compartment, which has a zip pocket and a slip. There's one little spot down the bottom right there. And your phone will fit, no problemo. So the taupe, light taupe, lucky brand number 13, crossbody will be $35. Then we have the Davina Ferenz, beautiful uh, blue leather with the brown trim. So this is a crossbody that can be adjusted, will stay crossbody, silver tone hardware, adjustable and removable. You have a pocket here in the front, raw suede on the back there, a pocket on the back. Excellent condition. Little zip around, this is like purely for your essentials. You have the raw suede on the inside as well, no pockets, and your brand tag is right there. So for the Davina Ferenz, this is also 
Perfect for your phone, keys and wallet, or keep your phone on the outside, keys and wallet on the inside. So for the Davina Ferenz blue and brown crossbody, number 14, dropping it to $23. Then we have the really cute, this, these are called micro crossbodies. They are all the rage now. They don't technically hold very much. It's just like an addition to your accessories. So you would wear one of these in addition to your purse, okay? Um, this one might be able to fit a phone because it's a little bit of a larger size. It is unbranded. It is a black leather crossbody that can be adjusted, will stay crossbody. This is all calf hair in like a grayish white and black. Beautiful black leather. Open it up and you have like a little filing cabinet. So you have a little secret pocket here along the back wall of the purse. Then you also have a zipper pocket along the back wall. Then you have pocket, 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 and pocket. <laughs> um, my phone will not fit. This is six and a quarter inches, six and a quarter inches by four. It is unbranded leather. It is going to be number 15 for $23. All right, then from the America's Thrift Supply Box last week, the only bag left is the Steve Madden Kelly Green Faux Leather Crossbody Bag. It is adjustable, will stay crossbody. It is in excellent condition. I didn't think there was anything wrong with it. Um, got the gold tone Steve Madden. Bottom and corners are great. You have two zipper compartments. So the back has your branding and then the front has kind of like a wallet section, okay? With all the zips and stuff. All right, so that's that. So let's, I don't remember if my phone fit. I think it did. Yeah, my phone does fit. I have the large 13 Pro Max, I think. I know, outdated. I think we're up to 16 with the iPhone. All right, so Kelly Green Faux Leather Steve Madden Crossbody number 16, dropping it down to $10. All right, that's it for the clearance section. So I'm going to pause to put up the ordering instructions and we'll keep it moving. Okay, you guys, first up for the thrifted purse section, I have two really pretty Tianellos. So first one up is this gorgeous dark purple leather shoulder bag. It is absolutely beautiful, silver tone hardware, tassel here, beautiful condition, double shoulder straps, a little bit of stud detailing, corners and bottom are beautiful. The inside has three compartments. So it has a main snap closure and then it opens to three compartments. So one side has slip pockets. The middle is zippered, which is your main compartment. And that has nothing in it. And then the front section or back section, however you want to wear it, has your branding and zipper pocket. Everything is in excellent condition. Tianello purple leather shoulder bag it is number 17 and we're gonna do this one for $45. If you don't like purple and maybe a little bit smaller of a bag, I have a pink Tianello. So this is a beautiful pink leather Tianello shoulder bag with brown braided handle, silver tone hardware. It is strictly a shoulder bag, just like the other one. You have zipper pockets here in the front. The back has a zipper pocket. That's just paper. Beautiful bottom and corners. The inside is a zipper pocket, zipper closure with one compartment. And you have 
branding, zipper pocket, and slips. Beautiful condition, inside and out, pink and brown Tianello, leather shoulder bag, number 18. This is also $45, so please make sure you are giving me the correct number. 17 is the purple, 18 is the pink. They are both the same price at $45. Okay, now you guys know I love Kurt Geiger. I'm actually going to be purchasing one of his bags this weekend. I just need to um, pick out which one because the brand gave me a $60 off coupon. They have a loyalty program. So I have this one, but I'm not going to keep it. <laughs> I have one that is similar, but it has some cheetah print mixed in with the multicolor. So this one is for you guys. It is a, so it can be a crossbody. It has silver metal uh, chain, or you can pull up the other strap and it becomes shoulder. This is called the mini Kensington, which is, this is the size that I like. It is perfect for me. It just fits a phone and your essentials. This is all leather in a beautiful rainbow. And then you have the silver tone eagle head with the matching crystals. There's the back with the Kurt Geiger plate. There is some very light wear, like a little bit up here and a little bit down there, teeny little bit. I did um, spray this with a um, protectant, so it will, you know, hopefully not wear as much anymore. So just a couple little teeny spots on the corners. Um, showed the bottom. So you open up the bag like so. The inside is all leather. It does come with a um, dust bag and the original card. Okay, yeah, this is the mini Kensington. It says on the back, there's just no price. Um, but on the website, these go for $2.25 and up. So on the inside, it says the Kensington with a card slot. So phone will fit perfectly. Okay, with your other essentials. This, um, th these bags, his bags come in all different sizes. They have like the micro, the mini, the large, and the extra large, I believe. So depending on what size you like every style has different sizes so for the mini kensington in the striped rainbow leather it is number 19 and like i said on the website these go for 225 and up i will offer this to you for 60 60 i'm gonna leave you on the couch because you have your little card and everything okay we have a really cool bag by Joelle Hotkins. Really neat, kind of like edgy black leather shoulder bag. It has stud details on the strap. It has these cool little straps going across the front and back. It's almost like a little bucket bag style. The black leather is very thick and soft. Um, there is a little bit of edge coat wear to the top of the strap, but not terrible. So the exterior of the bag is in excellent condition, bottom and corners. It is the same or similar, I should say, on both sides. The inside has a magnet closure, one compartment. You have slip pockets on one side, branding and zip on the other see the Joel Hawkins really neat thick black leather shoulder bag number 20 and we're gonna do this one for $48 48 super cool it is a shoulder bag and it it does not adjust I think I mentioned that if I didn't I'm sorry shoulder okay next up we have a brand new with tag Fossil shoulder or crossbody. It does have the canvas crossbody strap, brand new right here. And it also has a brown leather shoulder strap. 
that is not adjustable. Well, it is adjustable a little bit, but not removable. This crossbody is adjustable and removable. So you have dark blue canvas and like a fuchsia suede. So pretty, so pretty for fall. Here is your new with tag tag. It's coming in at $118. It is new with tag and in new condition. The inside zip goes to one compartment. And on the inside you have a zip pocket with your branding and your slips. So I'm actually going to take this off and put it on the inside. And it has really pretty like brass tone hardware. Putting that on the inside. So. It's kind of like a hobo shoulder bag or crossbody canvas and suede, brand new with tag fossil number 21. And we're going to do this one for $55, five, five. That's a little less than the, the sticker price. All right. Additionally, new with tag. I absolutely love this purse. It took all that was inside of me not to keep this. I mean, look how great this goes with my outfit. Um, this is Vince Camuto. It is also brand new with tag and in brand new condition. It is like a, it's like a burnt brownish orange, right? Like a brick, like a burnt brick. I don't know. <laughs> it's really pretty. So it's leather and suede. It has a crossbody strap that is removable, but not adjustable. And then you have a top handle right here. Um, the sides do drawstring in, so you can make it like a little drawstring bag. Leather on one side, suede on the front, and this is perforated see-through, so you can see my stuffing. Um, you have the Vince Camuto heat stamp on the back. Beautiful condition. Love this bag so much, but I can't keep them all, right? Never gonna make any money if I keep everything. So uh, snap closure there to get into the bag. Also the drawstring. And then you have one big leather slip pocket. It's almost like a, like a rust color maybe, like a brick rust. Um, it is showing accurate on camera. So for, you got the little top handle or crossbody leather and suede, brand new, Vince Camuto, $138. So they're calling it Red Rock. They call it Red Rock. It's called the Nora Crossbody Leather Red Rock. $138 on the tag. Number 22, I'm gonna do this one for $48. Absolutely adorable, I love it. All right, next up, we have a Bagalini. This is um, like new condition. It is a nylon crossbody or shoulder. You can adjust it, silver tone hardware. It is green with like the green camo, green and gray camo print. You have a zip pocket on the front. You have a pouch pocket on the front. You have a pouch pocket on the back. I don't believe there's anything wrong with this. It's kind of like a me small to medium size. Zip closure on the top. And inside is blue with a zip and slips. So like new condition, Bagalini, green camel print um, with faux leather. And this is number 23, Bagalini, $35. Next up, we have Juicy Couture, another one that looks very nice with my outfit. Um, Juicy Couture, this is like a beige, creamy beige, faux leather, top handle, crossbody. You can adjust it. So there's no more holes, but if you wanted to make this shoulder, you can just pierce some holes in the strap and it can become a shoulder bag for you. It is removable. Then you have the top handles. You have the Juicy Couture in gold tone. You have a zip pocket on the front here with the chain detail. You have really nice condition, bottom and corners. 
the back has nothing. The, it's kind of almost like a little bowling bag, right? A little bowling ball bag. And then the inside zip closure, one compartment. Clean and, oh, there's a little stain at the bottom. I spoke too soon. So you got the zip, the branding, the slips, and then right down there, there's a, a little stain right there. All right, so you got the creamy, creamy beige, faux leather, juicy couture crossbody, and it is number 24, $35. Um, up next, we are up here now. This is Oriani, O-R-Y-A-N-Y. I love this brand. One day I will own one of these bags. I just haven't found one that I liked enough to own. Plus, they've all been a little big and I'm not a big bag girl. Anyway, this is Oriani. This, you have the top handle. They make beautifully thick leather bags. You also have the crossbody strap. It can be adjusted a little bit. Actually, is this even crossbody? Hold on. Um, yeah, it's a little high on me. I'm 5'4". It's a little high. I don't think it could go any longer. So I, I'm 5'4". I, if you like it a little bit higher up, then it's fine. Otherwise, if you're under 5'4", this would be fine. This would be perfect. Otherwise, it's a longer, uh, longer shoulder bag. So you have the brown, you have the yellow, you have the taupe, and you have the gray, okay? Excellent condition. Wait, what is that? Okay, that looks like a small little, right there, little discoloration there. Otherwise, excellent. Uh, you have two zip pockets here on the front. Nice chunky gold tone hardware. The inside has a snap closure. One compartment. And it is your traditional Oriani interior with two zipper pockets right there. And your slips. So beautiful condition, just that one little mark that I pointed out on the outside that I saw. Um, number 25, Oriani, 50, five zero. Um, back up there. Okay, you guys, this is Hammett. All right, Hammett is a very expensive brand. This is a very rare collab, edit, edit and Hammett. I'm not exactly sure what edit means. I did look this up. Um, I think it's just a collaboration that they just made a rare line of bags. Um, so it has the fringe on one side, it is black leather. And then if you wanna wear it on this side, whatever side you want, there's the traditional Hammett like stud detailing. It is in excellent condition. Right now, it is set up to be a shoulder bag. You can adjust it to be crossbody. Silver tone hardware, beautiful black leather. To get into the bag, it is a zip on top. It has hammet on the pull. The inside has no pockets or anything. That's just paper. It does have your Hammett tag down in there though. So beautiful, rare edit by Hammett. Phone fits, no problem. Oops. There are a few of these listed, very few, for over, for $185 and over used. This one is number 26. I'm gonna offer this to you guys for $75. 75 for the edit Hammett. Absolutely stunning. Stunning. Okay, next up we have Kate Spade. This is actually a pretty rare Kate Spade. This is a blue velvet 
shoulder bag, or wristlet. So it has gold tone hardware, chain strap. I don't know if this could be, it can be crossbody. Again, it sits a little bit high up for me. I'm 5'4". Um, so if you don't mind it a little high up, that's okay. Or if you're under 5'4", this would be perfect. Otherwise, it's a um, shoulder bag. You can take it off though and switch it out to something else. Um, the wristlet strap is a vel uh, velvet, no, satin. This is like a satin. It has some rhinestones there on the top. It can be removed as well if you don't wanna have it on the bag. It is in beautiful condition. It's like a crushed velvet. There is one little mark on the bottom right there. Otherwise, she is absolutely beautiful. The inside is a zip closure. Two, one compartment. And on the inside, you have card slots with your spade and nothing else. Phone fits, no problem. Number 27 for the green crushed velvet Kate Spade. And this one is used online anywhere from 150, 100, 150 and up. I will just do this one for 50 for you guys, five zero. Okay, I'm gonna give you a good deal. Plus I got a good deal on it. All right, next up we have another Kate Spade. This one is a two-tone, kind of like a, um, like a off-white, it's almost like a, it's almost like an off-white beigey color, like a cream with the black leather. It is a crossbody bag, Kate Spade. You can adjust it shorter. It will stay crossbody. So black leather, FedEx is here, so if, yeah, I'm gonna have to stop it. <laughs> So two-tone leather, Kate Spade, it is structured and it is in very good condition. Um, gold tone hardware, zip on the top, super bright red. It's like an orangey red with the slip and branding. So beautiful condition inside and out, structured two-tone Kate Spade leather, number 28, 40, four zero. Okay, let's keep going with Stella and Dot. This is a leather crossbody by Stella and Dot. It has um, like a black snake print embossed. It has the silver tone chain detail on the strap. It is in excellent condition. The crossbody strap cannot be adjusted and cannot be removed. Um, it has the Stella and Dot logo here on the front and on the zipper pull. Bottom and corners are excellent. Back, top zip. Inside you have your branding and slip pocket. Clean interior, will fit a phone, no problem. So for the Stella and Dot black leather snake print crossbody, 29, number 29, $25. Then we have, this one's really cool. I don't know if it's leather because there's no tags. I want to say no, but I'm really not sure. So I'm just, it, it is what it is. I thought this was so pretty. This is by a company called Anna Lou. It is a crossbody or shoulder. You can adjust it. Antiqued gold tone hardware. The, this makes me think that it's not leather, but when you look at the sides and you can see like the, the suede kind of, it makes me think that it is, but it doesn't smell like leather. So I'm thinking no, but I could be wrong. So adjustable shoulder to crossbody. This is like a blue gray, almost like, um, it's like a t-shirt fabric, if you can see that. 
it is like a cotton fabric. It's not a um, straw or jute or anything. It is like a t-shirt fabric. And it is woven with the tassel. It is in excellent condition. There's your branding there at the top. To open the bag, you just undo this here on top and you have an opening, okay? Really unique bag. I thought it was so cute for the fall. And it's like a gray, more of a gray, but has like a little hue of blue. All right, so for the Anna Lou crossbody or shoulder, number 30, $25. Really stinking cool. Put you over there. Okay. Next up, we have DKNY. This is a crossbody or shoulder. It is a black nylon and faux leather crossbody or shoulder bag. You can adjust it, silver tone hardware. DKNY on the strap. If you can see that, there we go. Um, it is in very good condition. Nice little plaque there at the front. Beautiful. It's like a little camera bag, but the other direction. Um, you have a zipper pocket here on the front. And then your main compartment on the top has a slip pocket. All right, so really cool DKNY nylon crossbody or shoulder number 31, $25. Next up, Brighton. This, I've never seen a Brighton like this, but I knew it was Brighton because of the hardware. So this is a shoulder bag. It's a little bit larger in size, black on black, nylon and patent leather. The shoulder straps are braided, leather and patent leather, beautiful. You got the traditional Brighton hardware. It is slouchy, so however, much you fill it is how much how big it's going to be it is in excellent condition the inside you open this up it is a magnet flap you have this to keep the bag in or you can undo it if you want and it kind of gives it a different look the inside is one compartment and it's a really fun cheetah print. Very clean, creed, zip, and slips. Another zip there. So really pretty, black on black, Brighton shoulder bag, number 32, and this one's going to be $40, four zero. Okay, I'm gonna flip the page and put up the ordering instructions and we'll keep going. We're going to continue with a beautiful, excellent condition, Spikes and Sparrow tan leather shoulder bag. This brand makes beautiful leather bags, very expensive, but very similar to a Portland leather or Jack George. Um, nice, smells beautiful like leather. You have a pocket here in the front. It has silver tone hardware, zipper pocket in the back, it is excellent on the bottom and corners. You have the double shoulder handles and the inside has a zip top closure. And inside you have a middle zip section. So in the back here, you have an optional laptop section. So this padding does come out Right here you undo the Velcro and this whole padding can come out if you do not want it there. Then you have your middle zip section and then the other side has slip pockets and pen holder. All right, excellent condition all the way around. This is number 33, Spikes and Sparrow and I'm gonna do this for only $45. What a, what a steal. 
I might not even lower this next time because 45 is a really good price and it's in excellent condition. So grab that. All right, next up we have a leather bag by Kapal, I think it's called, K-A-P-P-A-H-L. It is a, so I think it's black, but I feel like it has a hint of green in it and I could be wrong, but maybe it's just how my lighting is. I don't know if you guys can see, I think it might just be black, but it is a beautiful leather crossbody. Okay, hits right here at the pant line. Um, like, see what I mean? Like, I feel like it looks green. Maybe you guys can't tell. But um, it does not adjust or remove. It has a nice thick leather strap. And then it is the same on both sides. It is a larger bag. It has a nice tassel and it is in excellent condition. Thick leather, I conditioned it, she was, she was a dry girl. Uh, silver tone hardware, zip top closure to one compartment. The inside is black. You have zip pop, I mean slip pockets, and a zip pocket. You do have a little bit of staining down at the bottom but it's hard to see because of the black interior. So this is Kapal number 34, and we're gonna do this for $40, four zero. All right, then we have an unbranded brown suede shoulder bag. I had to pick this up. I thought it was so cute for the fall. It is a shoulder bag. You can adjust it a little bit shorter, silver tone hardware. You have like these nice buckle details with the fringe on the front, nothing on the back. You have beautiful like braided sides. There's the bottom. You do have just a little bit of a mark right there because of the button that's underneath. And it has a really nice closure. Like look at that closure. This is probably vintage. And then on the inside, you have a slip pocket. Very clean on the interior. You guys know how suede is. It looks worse on camera. It is in really nice condition. Shoulder bag, number 35, $30, 3-0. All right, then we have two purses by the sack. We have the first one is a beautiful minty green. It is leather, it is the sack, it is adjustable, crossbody to shoulder, silver tone hardware, canvas, strap, leather bag with the white stitching down the sides, pocket on the front, pocket on the other side. Good condition, excellent on the corners. I thought I saw, yeah, there's a little, little bit of mark, of marks right up here. Otherwise, she's good. Um, oh, you have your hang tag. The inside is a zip, one compartment. Clean interior, one side you have slips. The other side you have a zip and a slip. All right, so beautiful mint leather, the sack, number 36, $35. The other one is like an off-white shoulder bag, strict shoulder bag, double longer handles, also by the sack in an off-white leather. You do have a little mark right there at the top corner. Zip pockets. Zip pocket on the back. Excellent condition, bottom and corners. Handles are excellent. You have three compartments in this one. All right, the back snap closure, nothing. And front snap closure, nothing. 
the main compartment is zipped. And in here you have fuzzies. You have your branding zip and slips. This one did not have a zipper pull, so I added this little guy for you. All right, so off-white leather, the sack, number 37, $35. All right, I'm going to do one more, and then I'm going to grab the rest because they're getting a little far away from me. Next up is Rebecca Minkoff. This is such a cool, like, messenger bag style crossbody or shoulder bag in black leather, gold tone hardware, fully adjustable, not removable. You have your tassel on the side. This is such a thick black leather, you guys. It's gorgeous. All right, so let's look at all the sides. The back has your branding with a big zip pocket. The corners, that one has some wear right there, that corner. But the other corners look okay. Okay, you have nice buckle details that don't really do anything. Um, this opens up. These are all pockets. Pocket, 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 pocket. Then the inside is one compartment. You have a zip and a slip with your branding and the other side has slips. There is in, in that corner some pink staining. I did clean out this bag, but there are a few remaining stains, just so you know. But overall, nice thick black leather, beautiful crossbody or shoulder by Rebecca Minkoff. Number 38, $45. Okay, ordering instructions. Okay, we are continuing with Jilly or Gilly. G-I-L-I -I stands for Got It, Love It. This is a brown, beige, and black snake print leather shoulder bag. It has brown leather on the top of the strap. It has gold tone hardware. You have a beautifully long tassel. It is in beautiful condition. Same on both sides. Maybe a itty bitty bit of rub on the corners. Nothing major, absolutely stunning. It is a strict shoulder bag. Um, you have a zip top to one compartment you have your this side has your branding with your zipper pocket this side has your slips and it says genuine leather it is clean on the interior just a little bit of fuzzies from the paper and it is it will be as slouchy as you have it filled this is number 39 G-I-L-I, -I, $50, five, zero. Again, another one that goes great with my outfit. <laughs> All right, um, running out of places. Okay, next up we have Tory Birch. It will come with this dust bag. We have a black leather handbag by Tory Burch. It is beautiful black leather, top handles. You can add a strap to this. This one does not come with one. You have a tassel. On the front here, it is missing one of the grommets, but with the tassel there, no one will know. Big Tory Burch logo on the front. This is a filing cabinet style. Beautiful condition, bottom and corners. I do have her filled up a lot, so it doesn't have to look like this, but I just have her filled to the max. Gold tone. Um, this zipper was replaced right here. See the difference in the zippers, but there is still a zipper there. So let's go through the bag. 
from the top, this is what she looks like. It has a main um, magnet closure, and then you have all of this, okay? So we'll start in the back with the zipper closure section, and there is nothing in that section. Then we go into the middle main zipped compartment. And that has your branding zip and slips. All right, there is a little stain. Where was it? Maybe it wasn't in this section. I think it was in the other one. Okay, so let's keep going. Other zip section toward the front. Yeah, it was in here. And then that section has nothing but see the stain right, there, right down there at the bottom. So, really nice bag. Couple, maybe two little issues. Nothing major. Number 40 comes with the dust bag and we're gonna do this one for $85. 85, number 40. Okay. We have Iman. This is such a cool bag, perfect for the fall. This is calf hair and leather, and it is um, in really good condition. Uh, the only things that I would maybe, maybe consider a flaw is there are some variation to the leather. See that? So some of this leather does have some darkening um, it is a top handle bag, or it is a crossbody or shoulder. You can adjust it. Gold tone hardware, adjustable and removable. Top handles are not. It is the same on both sides. Beautiful calf hair. None missing or damaged. Um, the inside of the bag has a zip top closure to the interior. You do have the Iman card global chic platinum collection and then you have your branding zip and slips so really beautiful bag just a couple little variation in the leather gorgeous I'm in number 41 50 dollars five zero we have a Mark Jacobs Mark, is this marked by Mark Jacobs? Yes, this is marked by Mark Jacobs in a Kelly Green nylon tote shoulder bag. All right, um, you have the plate on the front. Uh, really good condition on that. I think it's silver tone hardware. Pocket on each side. There is a little bit, where was it? Down here, a little teeny bit of staining toward the corner there a little bit right there um, there was some darkening along the top hardly noticeable but I do like to point out everything that I can a little bit of darkening I did completely wash this bag myself handles are great magnet closure one compartment there is some discoloration, but down at the bottom, so there's your zip and your slips. Okay. Kelly Green, Mark by Mark Jacobs, nylon tote shoulder bag, number 42, $45. Then we have Hobo International. This is a cream, cream, Beige, no, cream, it's cream. Um, leather, Hobo International, shoulder bag. Beautiful gold tone hardware, larger size. Drawstring pockets with tassels on each side. Slip pocket on the back. Now on the back there is some rub right there toward the top and a couple little marks down over here okay bottom and corners are great it's a nice thick leather if you guys know hobo international you'll know the quality of leather uh, shoulder strap 
So on the inside of the zip pocket is one compartment with your beautiful hobo interior, a zipper pocket and a slip and nothing, oh yeah, and slips over there. So a couple little marks on the exterior. This is number 43, Hobo International Cream Leather Shoulder Bag 50, five zero. Then we have a Michael Kors maroon handbag. This one does have um, spots for a shoulder or crossbody. It does not come with one. All right, so this one's strict shoulder, uh, strict handbag. Again, goes great with my outfit today. Should we make this the default? <laughs> um, so it is a Safiano leather, gold tone hardware. It is in very good condition. Um, a little bit of rub to that corner. Other ones are good. Feet on the bottom. Um, I wanted to see, I thought there was, okay, maybe not. Okay, a little black mark right there. Um, very little wear to the hardware, zip on the top. And there is some staining along the bottom and some ink. Okay, I did clean out this entire bag. It does not budge. This is a Michael by Michael Kors. There is your branding and zip and your slips. So, number 44, Michael Kors handbag, 40 bucks. Then we have a bunch of coach. So up first is a multicolor nylon handbag. Well, it could be shoulder. Um, by coach, I believe this is a coach poppy. It has all the really pretty colors with white and pink, patent leather and canvas. This is a nylon zip pocket on the front, silver tone hardware, nothing on the back. I cleaned up the corners. The corners were very dirty and they came out nice and clean. Hardly noticeable on the corners. Um, handles on the top are good. Zip closure. And then you have a beautifully clean interior. Creed, zip, and slips. All right, so gorgeous, fun colors. Coach, shoulder or handbag, number 45, $48. Put you up there. Okay, the next coach we have um, is this one. It is black canvas shoulder bag or handbag with this awesome color print on it. It's got lilac and purple and sequins and studs. Very cool, hang tag, patent leather. It's black on black. It is in excellent condition. Handles are great. This has a kiss lock center. So the back section is a snap closure. And it ha that, that section has your creed and zipper pocket. Then you have the kiss lock section which has, no, which has nothing in it and then the snap section in the front has your slip pockets so really cool um i did look this one up it is coming up as being rare um this is number 46 and we're gonna do it for 55 dollars all right then i have this one I think is called the Coach Margot in small. It is a beautiful like cornflower blue leather. As you can see, it is a smaller size, perfect for me. <laughs> Top handles, gold tone hardware, crossbody is adjustable and removable, not shoulder. So crossbody only. This is in really nice condition, you guys. Look at the, the leather on it. Beautiful. Looks like maybe one little mark right there. 
corners and bottom. Gorgeous. All right, inside of the bag, you have a clip closure, three compartments. Creed slip pocket, middle zip section, back section. Back section has your slip pockets. Absolutely gorgeous coach purse, leather number 47. These are all listed for over $100 used online. I'm only going to ask 68, okay? Next up, we have this one. So this is a lighter blue. Okay, this is a light blue coach leather. You have a top handle or you have the crossbody. The crossbody is not adjustable but removable. Then you have the top handle. This is a smaller, you know, sleeker size. You have the coach in silver heat, uh, heat stamp in the front. I added this because there was no hang tag. I added a dark blue leather. The other side has tan. The back of the bag does have a mark right there. And then there are a couple teeny marks on the bottom. Okay. The inside has a zip closure. It does smell like perfume, maybe a three out of 10. And then the inside is beige. And there's a little bit of pen down in that corner and you have two slip pockets. All right, so that's why I chose this one because it has the, you know, matches the inside and the dark blue with the blue. So for this light blue leather coach, it is number 48 and I'm gonna do 40 on this one. All right, let's get to the littles and then we will pause and I'll get the shoes and the um, America's Thrift Supply Box. Actually, this is not, well, this is kind of a little. This is a blue, a blue suede crossbody bag by Urban Outfitters. Um, it is a crossbody. It cannot adjust and cannot remove. It has these really long tassels on each corner. It is a blue suede. It is in really nice condition. You have the top zip in silver tone. Urban Outfitters, and then you have another side over here. Actually, I don't know if my phone fits. Okay, phone does fit. It took a little bit to get in, but it does fit. Um, and then if you want to use the inside, the inside does open, but there's only one little pocket, so. Really cute. I love the blue suede. Urban Outfitters, number 49, 25 bucks. All right, now the littles. We have a Brahmin white croc embossed leather wallet with gold tone hardware. Um, it's, it's in really good condition, but you can tell it's been used because it's very soft. It doesn't have like its um, structured shape anymore but it is in really good condition. So you have a back zip pocket that does have some coin residue in it. Bottom and corners are good. Maybe a little bit of wear up there and a teeny little bit on that side. Um, inside, gonna open it up like so. You have pockets here, 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 pen slot, and all card slots. And this section, I'm looking, I don't really see anything wrong here. All right, so it is white, and the the raised parts is, is like a, it's like a beigey, I guess you can say. So number 50 for the leather Brahmin wallet, $30. And then lastly, we have a beautiful blue 
Yeah, it's like a blue and gray or blue and or lighter blue. Um, leather coach wristlet with the white, actually I think there's silver <laughs> snowflakes. Excellent condition, wristlet, silver tone hardware, card slots on the interior. Number 51, $23. Okay, let me move the shoes closer and we will finish up the show. Okay, so I got a few pairs of Vans. They might not do good in this video, but they do well for me online. Um, so I'll just list them there. But you guys get first dibs and discounted pricing. So, first pair, these are canvas and suede, multicolor vans. They're in excellent condition. They're probably only worn once. There's like literally nothing wrong with them. Maybe a little dirty on the white sole. These are a size eight men's, nine and a half women's. These are gonna be $25. Okay. Then we have a white and green pair. So these are also suede and canvas. These are in excellent condition, maybe worn once. These are size eight and a half men's and 10 in women's. Okay, excellent condition, $25 as well. We have a pair of like brick red with floral vans. A little like tropical design. Got a little parrot right there. These are also in good condition. These are a size eight and a half men's, 10 women's. These will be $23. Then we have a pair of Kate Spade. Oops. Super cute denim and black bow leather. Black leather bow. Kate Spade slip-on little sneakers. These are in a size seven. And these are going to be $20. Kate Spade denim and black leather bow. Next up, we have a brand new pair of Allegria sandals. These are in a size seven. These are all fully adjustable straps. Wait, yes, they're all Velcro straps in like a mermaid blue and green scale. Like I said, they're brand new, maybe an inch wedge and suede footbed. Super comfortable, size seven, Allegria, brand new sandals, 20 bucks. That is a steal. If these don't sell, these are getting put up for probably 50 on my eBay. So grab them at 20 bucks, size seven. Then we have a brand new pair of joie. I think that's how you say that. Joie, brand new pair, tag is right here. These are so cute for the fall. I would have kept them if they were my size. These are a size six and a half, espadrille, with like the straw slip-on, brand new, joie, six and a half, 20 bucks, brand new. Joie is actually a very expensive brand, so grab these at 20 bucks. Again, matches my outfit. All right, then lastly, we have a pair, let me see if I can say this right. Lavorazioni Artigiani. Lavorazioni Artigiani. You can just say the black boots. Um, these are clearly Italian. Um, I contemplated keeping these myself because they're a size eight, 
Uh, they are, this is a very expensive brand. It is just a really easy pair of black leather booties, silver tone zip on both sides, a little bit of a block heel, probably two inches. Excellent condition, size eight. Lavorazioni Artigiani. <laughs> A. <laughs> All right, so these are size eight, 30 bucks. Beautiful. All right, <laughs> that's it, you guys. Let me grab the. Ugh. America's Thrift Supply Box. America's Thrift Supply.com. At checkout, right above your total. If you type in my name, Kristen, you will save 15%. Their price did go up, but not very much, and I'm not mad about it. Maybe it's everyone using my code. It's funny, because they did, when I got my code renewed this past year, they did say that a lot of people use it, and they were thinking of um, upping the price. And I'm like, look, your price is amazing to begin with, so I'd be okay with that. Probably should have said that. Anyway, I don't get anything from my code. I don't get a commission, nothing. I got this for you guys, and I just get to use my my own 15% off code. So, um, yeah, so $9.99 shipping minus my 15% off brings this box now to $60.99. Um, it is, I bought this on August 30th. It's the brand name purse supply box, five pieces. Sometimes they give you six. Um, it depends, I guess, on the quality of the bags that they give you. All right, this kind of looks like a mixed jumble. I do see something that might be leather, that brown. So let's see what we got. So first up, we have a Lily Bloom. This kind of reminds me of like a Vera kind of, this brand. So it is like a nylon crossbody. You can adjust it to be shoulder. It's gray and it looks like it has like a nice floral print. Um, it looks like it's missing the pull from right here, but it's in, it seems like it's in good shape. Let's see. Yeah, I mean, I don't see anything else wrong with it except it's missing that pull. It's a smaller one. So let's just do this for $12, 12 bucks. All right, let's see what this leather one is. Oh, this looks like American Leather Company. Let's see. Yes, is right. I love their leather. All right, we got some issue with the handles. So this is, I, I'm pretty sure I've sold this exact one before. It's the embossed brown leather. Ooh, it kind of smells like cigarettes. Um, it does have some darkening of the leather, uh, you know, mostly to the bottom. Definitely some patches of darkening. Back pocket is clean though. The top, I will, you know, take off those edges, but there is some edge coat missing to just the top part of the straps. And then the inside is your snap and then you have the three sections so one section has the slip pockets this section is zippered it just has a little stain right there at the top and this section has your zip pocket with a little stain there so and it smells like cigarettes it's probably about a five out of ten on this on the cigarette meter um, I there's too much going on with this, so I'm just gonna do $5, and it's yours. Um, $5 plus shipping, obviously, and then it's just gonna get, I'm not bringing it back next week. All right, so now we got the Betsy that we saw when we first opened. Okay, we're good on smell on that one. Uh, this is faux leather, it's white and black. It's a tote. Oof, I don't know if that's gonna come off. Oop right there um otherwise it looks okay it's 
got the plate there on the front, gold tone. Got the shoulder handles look good. The top, I mean, the inside has a snap closure. Just looking for doo-doo. We're good. All right, so the inside has a middle zip section. And that, and the whole inside looks good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to try to clean if that's dirt or if that's transfer. And I will put on the screen the outcome and a price, because that's going to determine the price. All right, not the greatest so far, guys. Can't really tell what else that is, so. Oh, another Betsy, okay. Hold on, this is the front. All right, this is kind of cool. I've never seen one like this. This is a very slouchy, like black and silver metallic fabric. Oops, sorry, it has maybe a little bit of wear toward the top here, but the chain looks good, it's a silver tone chain. The plate has a little bit of scratching. It's like a um, uh, gun metal. And let's see, this opens. Okay, we're good in there. Bottom and corners look okay. The back has this really cute kiss. I mean, it seems okay. And then it's got a cool lightning bolt zipper pull. It's very slouchy. I can barely even see in here without. So it has a, it's by Betsy Ville and it has a zip pocket. So it's in, it's in really good condition. It's just got a little bit of wear toward the top here and then a little bit on that front plate. It's a shoulder bag, but otherwise it's pretty nice. So let's just do this one for 25. That's, I've never seen one like that. It's pretty cool. So that's four already. Oh, so they did give us a few extras. I see a few down there. So this would make five. This is Ralph Lauren, a black suede handbag. I mean, this looks kind of nice too. I mean, it's got a little bit of rub on the corner there. Very, very little rub on the corners. I can try to um, clean that up a little bit. It looks like this black leather handles, really pretty gold tone nameplate. Snap, little flap. This one's really cute. It's Lauren by Ralph Lauren. So it's got a middle zip section. It's got your zip pocket in the back. zip in the middle and then this side has nothing so this is really cute i think it just needs to be cleaned up there's like a little bit of wear toward the top but i think this is super cute so i'll give it a nice wipe down and um let's do this for 25 as well all right oh we still got a few more things look so this oh there's like a good paper on there i don't know oh this is vera this looks like a taco. <laughs> um, it's like a houndstooth um, fabric. Vera Bradley, white and black with like the ruffle on the top. I, I mean, I don't see anything wrong with this. Zip on the top. Yeah, she good. So this is in really nice condition. Let's do this one for 10. And then we have Fossil, okay. Why are you in a bag like this? Are you new? Let's see. No, not new. Uh, Three-tone, right? White, black, and brown. Little rub right there. That, I don't know if that'll come off. And then there's that too. I don't know if that'll come off. So maybe a couple little spots on the front. It is leather. It does have a wristlet strap. The back has a little zip pocket. Gold tone hardware. 
another little rub spot right there, but very soft leather, very, very soft. Oh, so it is supposed to be new, but there are some flaws. Um, it's called the Jory Zip Clutch Neutral Multi, $98. So you have all the card slots, the zip, I'll get all that junk out of there, more card slots. So it's supposed to be new, but there are a couple teeny little flaws. Um, so let's just do 15, okay, 15 on that. So that wasn't too bad. I mean, there wasn't anything like super fabulous, but I'm pretty sure I profited. <laughs> I don't even count up the, the totals, which I probably should do that. Um, anyway, I thought it was a pretty good box. Let me know what you guys thought. Did you have a favorite bag of the haul? Let me know that too in the comment section. I will also put link the link to my jewelry and my top in the comment section if you would like to shop my styles my expensive looks for less look at that all right guys thanks so much for watching give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already it's free thanks again and we will see you in the next one